now coming to asynchronous counter as i explained you asynchronous counters means uh, there is a rippling effect so you can call that ripple counter uh, uh, asynchronous counter as a ripple counter okay now the form of a counter is slow because the cascaded clocking scheme cascaded clo clocking scheme i know that uh, you know that uh, uh, output of uh, first flip flop will act as a clock input from the for the next flip flop so that they are ca telling cascaded clocking scheme now the clock source ripples from stage to stage okay and the rip ripple effect is similar to that of ripple carry address circuit so they are uh, showing some similarity between uh, ripple carry adder uh, circuit and ripple uh, counter okay now you see one up counter up counter means it will count from 0 to maximum value okay so you see count signal toggles output of low uh, order flip flop so this is t when you apply t as 1 your output will toggle right so based on that uh, it is it is working we'll see what is that no low order flip flop provide trigger for the adjacent flip flop okay and not all the flops change value simultaneously so low order flops change first so low order so this is they are talking about a uh, ripple uh, counter and you see now when t is 1 okay so what output you will get here zero yes, toggle. toggle whatever suppose you are assuming uh, it is a uh, uh, zero so you will get one right so you will get one here and other are zero zero this we will get after one clock cycle eh? right right so after one clock cycle uh, you will get uh, this although our input one will be there um, uh, one is a uh, see one there is present in every flip flop right that is permanent the output of every flip flop will toggle only when the clock changes. right 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 then only either it's not it will not they will not toggle okay so here it means that q bar is acting as a clock yeah yeah q bar next flip flop okay mm. so if uh, q is 0 so it will toggle okay and uh, here also it will toggle okay so you will get some value here so that will act as a clock okay so uh, like that whenever there is a change in value it will enable that okay and you will get some uh, output so definitely uh, i think this will uh, count from 0 to 1 one 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 like that it will count okay just explain the uh, clock cycles see at first clock what will happen zero, zero. Yeah, okay this graph okay this is clock okay first passage clock what is the value of q naught zero so it will toggle so you will get one right so after uh, uh, after next passage you will get zero what? one it is toggling yeah Input is one. Right. So it is always toggling. Okay, you will get this type of graph. Right. It's clean. Now you check here. They are connecting with Q bar. Okay, so these are positive edge triggered. Okay, this circuit, mm -hmm. right? So uh, now here you will get Q is zero. So at this point, okay, it will trigger. Okay, so what is the value? No Q one. Q one is this. So this passage will come here. So after one cycle, see now this one. Uh, now here is one, right? Okay. So this one will come here. Okay. How come zero will go there? Q bar is connected to the. Okay, zero. So it is zero. So one. When one will come? Here one will come, right? Mm -hmm. At this point see this is q naught here okay this is q naught q q naught bar is the opposite of after this after one clock cycle uh, q zero will produce another one cycle q one output will produce another clock cycle see uh, see first see this is q naught this is q one q two q naught bar is connected to clock not q naught okay okay so q naught is one okay so when q naught bar is 1 when q naught is 0 right so when it is 0 here okay so at this point it will trigger q1 okay see this q1 is 1 right okay see here q1 is 1 why uh, q0 is 0 so q bar is 1 so you are getting clock at this point right so that is why it's working 
Okay. Mm. We are getting Q as one, na. Okay. And Q bar as zero. Q as Q not as one, na. And Q bar is zero, right. obviously. Right. Right. That zero is a clock cycle input to the second flip flop. Okay. So that means that will uh, what type of clock it will get second flip flop? It is negative, na. Yeah. It this uh, that uh, flop was waiting for passage, not for negage. Okay. So when passage will come? At this point, only passage will come. 